This is NBN Network Media from Abuja, Nigeria's capital territory. This is Around News, live, live from NBN Network Media. The President's Steering Committee and the pandemic released new guidelines a few days ago. A crowd full of strategies with the Lagos Department has put in place to mitigate the third wave of the pandemic. Health authorities have ordered that passengers coming from high risk countries like India, Brazil, and Turkey be isolated for seven days in any of the state's isolation facilities. Some countries in the world are currently experiencing the third wave of the COVID 19 pandemic. Countries such as India, Brazil, and Turkey are struggling to manage the virus. In a bid to prevent the third wave of the pandemic in Lagos, the state government, through its Ministry of Health, is taking what it considers as drastic steps to mitigate. To try and help us characterize that virus and put it into either one of the um, strains that we know are circulating around the world. In addition, we're using Echo Telemedicine and what we call the Echo Telemed platform to manage people at home. Of course, the third pillar there is the standard hygiene principles and social distancing that we are all familiar with. The fourth pillar there is our oxygen strategy. We are ensuring that we have the capacity to make more and more oxygen in Lagos State. We have just installed two oxygen plants, and we're looking at a third and a fourth, just to make sure that should we go into a third wave, we will not be experiencing the scenes that we see on television in India, Brazil, and other countries. And finally, the vaccine strategy is important for us. Professor Akiyan Bayami says Lagos has received additional 57,000 of the AstraZeneca vaccine from the federal government for the vaccination of more residents to keep them safe from the virus. An additional consignment of 57,000 doses extra of AstraZeneca. So the ring vaccination strategy, when we get somebody that has turned positive, who has recently returned from abroad, and you have tested positive, then we will be deploying some of the vaccines to vaccinate members of their family, their immediate household, to stop the transmission of the virus from the traveler to family members or people that live in the same home or in the same immediate jurisdiction. So far, 470,000 residents have been tested, with over 4,000 patients admitted, 3,906 discharged, and a death record of 354 COVID-19 patients in the state. reports. A research team constituted by the Afrika University in Ekiti State has been exploring plans to find a herbal cure for COVID-19. The 16-month research work, which has reached product development stage, has drawn the attention of the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control, NAPDEC, which has visited the school for its findings. Nigeria, or Africa at large, has resources called plants. And these plants contain chemicals that are capable of curing COVID-19. And what I have explained there is to provide, is to tell you the published papers, is to explain to you uh, the data that support our claim. Those have been published and others have been shown you know, during the course of the um, uh, presentation. Now that is showing interest in this, the agency's director general commends the approach to research adopted by the institution. She gives further assurance on the vaccines being administered in Nigeria. What I've seen from these uh, plants that they have now developed into what they are calling the we will the, the name and everything may be changed if I map that, just to make sure that we know exactly where, what stage it is. But I see it as potential. But once all the data are gathered and submitted to us, we test in the lab, then we list it. However, the approach that Abuad is taking, the scientific approach, is what should be taken, of all, for all rather, all herbal medicines. Hopefully, the outcome of this visit by NAPDEP 
we reveal the readiness of the country's medical and academic research institutions less dependent on foreign supplies in tackling medical emergencies such as the COVID-19. This is NBN Network Media, news for all races connecting you to the world.